Welcome into episode two of Scotty Sports Talk. I'm your host, Matthew Clark, and today we're joined with Glasgow sophomore running back Cameron Bull. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. And unfortunately, the Glasgow Scotty season did come to an end this past Friday when they fell to the undefeated Hart County Raiders 28 to 21 in Mumfordville. What was the feeling in the locker room following the loss, and what was the message from head coach Jeff Garman? Um, the feeling in the locker room, it was, a, it was rough, but we were all happy to say that we had a better season than last year, and that's all that really mattered. We wanted to make sure that we surpassed this 6-5 and five record from last year, and that's what we did this year in the 9-3. and three. Of course, we wanted to go past that. Uh, Coach Garm just said motivation. He said the same thing last year, use this as motivation, so we're going to take it, use this motivation the next year. Of course, a fantastic performance from yourself in Mumfordville. 12 rushes for 101 yards, as well as three catches, 81 receiving yards, and two touchdowns. Going into next season, how important will it be to you to maintain the level of versatility you flashed throughout this season? It'll definitely be very important for me and, of course, uh, my team as well, because, well, we're losing a bunch of seniors, and um, they're going to need me in multiple multiple positions other than just one. Obviously, the next man up mantra is widely used not only in high school sports, but all sports in general. And uh, you displayed it magnificently this season as a wide receiver, running back, and the backup quarterback for the Scotties. Do you have a favorite position to play in football? And if so, why? Or do you just enjoy being Mr. Do-It-All in this Glasgow offense? I mean, I love the Mr. Do-It-All title, but uh, if I had to pick one, it'd definitely be running back. I've been playing running back since as long as I can remember, and I just, I've, I've loved it. I've always loved it. With Glasgow's season coming to an end, I'm sure your focus has already began to shift to your junior year for the Scotties. Going into next season, what are some of the things you hope to accomplish with this Scotties offense, and what are a couple things you've learned through playing football at Glasgow that'll help you next season? A couple things I want to accomplish with the Scotties offense this upcoming season is I want to be able to use myself as a way to open up the air with bashing the ground hard and being able to use our run game to open up the uh, open up the air, and a couple of things that I've learned from playing football at Glasgow is you have to be patient. Not everything's just going to open up immediately. You have to kind of bounce around, take a couple plays, figure stuff out, and then go full speed. Obviously, this Scotty's team will look a lot different next season with 16 seniors exiting the program. What has it meant to you to play with teammates like Rico Crowder, Gavin Neal, Lucas Christian, among others, and how do you think next year's squad will adjust in order to compete in Class 3A? It's been an amazing journey playing with those guys. Uh, I've been playing with them since Little League, and just, you know, I have so many memories playing with them from Little League until their senior year, and then I'm hoping that uh, us underclassmen can step up and take on the role that they had and hopefully get us farther than we were this year. Again, we do want to say thank you for coming in today, taking the time out of your schedule, and uh, we hope you have the best of luck next season. Thank you. Again, that was Glasgow sophomore running back Cameron Bull. We'll begin basketball coverage here on WCLU Sports on November 28th when the Glasgow Scotties host the Logan County Cougars at Glasgow High School Gym at 7.30 p.m. We are WCLU, your home for Scotty Sports.